Stanja Belisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I wonder if any of you have ever operated mobile on the high frequency bands, that is, below 30 megahertz. That would even include 160 meters and may someday include the low frequency bands too, but in particular, I'm, in, I'm interested in uh, the uh, conventional high frequency ham radio bands. If you've operated mobile on any of those bands, what is your most memorable mobile contact? Can you explain it or identify it or, or whatever? I recall, well, I've made a lot of mobile contacts and a lot of mobile CW contacts, as you will see if you look at my playlist in this channel, Wandering the West. I worked quite a lot of DX uh, with, uh, I believe it was 10 or 15 meter mobile CW in Wyoming in the winter of 2014. But the most memorable contact of all happened way back in the early 1970s, when during the summer, one of the summers uh, that I was in college, a, a local friend of mine, Bob, and, uh, and I used to communicate with a station in New Zealand. And uh, I was into high-speed CW at that time. Bob was not. But uh, Bob used to listen to these contacts, and he also, we had a couple of voice contacts with uh, George in New Zealand. But he could send about 55 or 60 words a minute on CW and, and hear just as fast, and so could I. So many a night during the summer of, let's just say for the sake of argument, the summer of 1973. It might have been 74. But in any case, we, uh, I worked this uh, station and we talked and we got to know each other. Uh, uh, and one night, uh, I had set up a mobile CW station in an old Oldsmobile car that my dad let me use to drive to and from the University of Minnesota down to Rochester, Minnesota. And he, he let me have it at the university as well. And I had a mobile CW station in there. And one night I was talking to George on CW high speed from my home station. And he gave me something like a 559 report. He was an honest signal reporter. He didn't exaggerate how strong you were. He told you the way it was. And then I said, hey, why don't we, why don't, will you listen for me from my mobile CW station? And he said, sure. And a few minutes later, we made a contact on U.S. Highway 14, west of Rochester, Minnesota, going out towards I believe it was Byron and Owatonna and out in that direction. My dad drove the car and I made the contact. And George contacted me on Mobile CW from Minnesota to New Zealand, running about 100 watts output, I was, and he gave me a 579 from the Mobile station, a better signal report than he had given me from my home station, which I found rather, rather amazing. Well, just downright, plain, ordinary, unadulterated amazing, but it, uh, I had made my own keyer. It was a Halicrafters, Frank, not Frank, Foxtrot, Papa, Mike, FPM 300, and we made this contact. That, I think, is my most memorable mobile HF contact of all my ham career on this earth. What about you? It may take a little while for me to get through your replies and uh, and let and uh, acknowledge them and let them through because I'm going to try and get out today. It's a beautiful day and do some swimming. But uh, I'd like to know. 
Have you ever operated HF Mobile? And if you have any mode, what was your most memorable Mobile HF ham radio contact? Tell me all about it. I'm all ears and all eyes. Stan Jibalisco, W1GV, saying 73. And so long, which in that QSO and in all other of my QSOs always translates to da 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 da.